Mr. President, Mr. she's President. seeking the call. Thank you. The Hon Honourable uh, Dr. Maureen Farouk. Thank you, Mr. President. I was lucky enough to participate in the Greens float at this year's Sydney Gay and Lesbian Mardi Gras, as I have done for many years in the past. Some 10,000 marchers were involved in the 2014 parade, which was watched by many thousands more people along Oxford Street and up to Moor Park, and from their homes on SBS. It is always a truly exhilarating and affirming experience to stand shoulder to shoulder with LGBTI people and advocates demanding acceptance and equality. This year's Mardi Gras was the 36th annual event. Mardi Gras has gone through significant change in the decades since 1978. And so every year when we march, we must not forget that Mardi Gras began not as a celebration of diversity, but as a serious and painful political demonstration. LGBTI Australians took to the streets of Sydney not for relationship, equality, or to celebrate their newly won freedoms, but for their very lives and safety. And many still do march for these basic rights, particularly those minority groups who are often still struggling for strong voices within the big LGBTI tent. On that point, it's certainly worth acknowledging that this is the first year that an intersex group entry participated in the parade. I congratulate OII Australia and the Androgen Insensitivity Syndrome Support Group Australia on their involvement. The theme for the Greens float this year was green, the brightest color of the rainbow. Our party is proud to have been the brightest light for LGBTI people in parliaments around this country for many years, and we are proud to remain so. In the 1990s, Christine Mill led the charge for decriminalization of homosexuality in Tasmania, a charge begun by Bob Brown in the 1970s and 1980s. In two, 2005, my colleague and friend, the now Senator Lee Rhiannon, gave notice to introduce a same-sex marriage bill into this chamber. Only last year, we finally debated a New South Wales same-sex marriage bill, which was lost by only two votes. I was proud and privileged to be a part of the cross-party working group on this matter. On Saturday, the Greens held our banner high. Marriage equality, every vote, every MP, every time. Behind the celebrations in our city, the treatment of LGBTI people worldwide was never far from my mind on Saturday. From Uganda to Russia to Nigeria, discriminatory and hateful policies continue to marginalize, oppress, and even kill people because of their sex, sexuality, or gender identity. Certainly, much closer to home, we should note in disgust the Australian government's decision to send, send LGBTI asylum seekers to Papua New Guinea, where harsh laws still exist against homosexuality. Only last week, an Australian Senate hearing was told that detainees are now adjusting their claims from persecution on the basis of sexual orientation to other forms of persecution, out of fear that their claims would be rejected. We must give our solidarity and support to LGBTI people and activists wherever it is possible and work with them to achieve the many wins we are lucky to have already experienced here. In our Australian context, we should aim for the activism and awareness of our annual Sydney Mardi Gras to be felt not just at this time of the year, as the summer draws to a close and as the rainbow flag is hoisted up at Sydney Town Hall, but throughout the year ahead. This is something that all those in this House who believe in equality must strive to do in consultation with LGBTI people and their amazing representative organizations. In this spirit, on the same day as the 2014 Mardi Gras, I announced that this year I will be introducing a bill in the House that would go some way towards alleviating discrimination against the most marginal marginalized voices in our community. My independent colleague in the lower house and fellow LGBTI advocate, Alex Greenwich, is working with the Greens on implementing this reform to end forced divorces for trans and intersex Australians. I'm looking forward to the debate we will have in this chamber about the protection of loving and committed marriages for all members of our community, just as I'm looking forward to every future debate we have in here about the rights of LGBTI people. The Greens will not rest until full equality is achieved.